Now, you've seen that she's here, and from juggling a busy career to raising a newborn baby who's now that little thing. Hello, you. <laughs> Hello, you. Do you mind her shoes you being just on, leave on her, this morning You just sofa. leave her to do whatever she wants she would be, She'd be very at ease with cameras, would she? She's quite used to it now. Yeah. You know, Series 7. This is obviously a different environment being in the studio, which is so nice being here, by the way, because we've been used to doing it over Zoom and stuff. But with the First Time Mum crew, it's... She's just totally unaware. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, she's enjoying it. She hasn't been, been in here, have you? We haven't seen you since you were a you baby know, in she here. She can see herself I know on she can. But look, I'm, what's the, is this what you've just drawn? Is Sunday, this what you brought in for me? what did you do me? for Ruth and Amy? Was that for me? Lovely rainbow picture. That's very nice. Thank Beautiful. you very much. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to look at this and you can tell me all about it and we're going to look at you and Mummy on the TV. Oh. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first <laughs> time, Mum, how's it going so far? How would you mark your report card? OK, so I know I, I, I've always said this every series, but I genuinely mean it. This is the best series, well, yet. Because no. we've done the one-off special. I'm so sorry, right. as you can tell. <laughs> just, just, um, just excited. Like any other three-year-old. Um, yeah. We've done the one-off special when I was pregnant. Sunday. <laughs> and then they always do this, this is what the show's like. And then um, we've done mini series, and this series, Series 7, is eight episodes. So it's been so much more. So do you, have, do you have cameras with you most of the time? Though? Most of the time. We started filming in like March, and we're still filming for this series. So it's a lot. And, and, and I know that, I mean, even just this, right, just ignore, as they say, because this is all part of it. And I remember taking Jack onto a TV show <clears throat> and he was so badly behaved. And I did a lot of that, like, honestly, it's not normally like this. <laughs> but, but people are seeing this all the time and that is part of being the parent. And this age, three, terrible yeah. twos into threes. Well, she is a, a mini three major, and I think that's the beauty of the show. And I'm so honest, I wear my heart on on my sleeve and I wouldn't have it any other way. I think there's a real charm about the show with it being um, just very real. And I think that's other parents find it relatable. Yeah. Yes. And also doing it on your own and you're very open about that. You know, you're a single parent and, yeah. and that's not always easy because you don't always have someone to share it with. You always feel like you're bad cop. Well, I've got to play good cop, no. bad cop, and that definitely... Um, I've, I've had my struggles along the way, but I've never known any different. Yeah. I've always been a single parent. And, again, that's what I love about the show. I feel like First Time Mum really... It, it represents single-parent families from my perspective. So, yeah, I love it when the show's on air and I, I have single parents reach out on, on Instagram and social mm. and say, you know, you're doing it for the single parents. And also, you, you have a lot of experts that you get involved on the show, so you're learning and then on people the watching are learning, you're learning on the job, absolutely. Well, we've, we've got to fill eight episodes. Every, yeah. At the beginning of every series, I'm like, what are we going to film? And then it just happens. It just happens. It yeah. just happens, but... Um, whoa. <laughs> well, it's all right, we won't and then, we, but, the, yeah, what's great is I get to meet with experts along the way. You, you know, this series, I spoke with a conscious parenter expert. Um, what does it explain what that what means? What is that? So, it's a different type of parenting, very new to it, but um, Sunday has her fair share of tantrums, mm. and uh, you see that on the show, but a conscious parenter encourages... Um, the, the techniques encourages you to kind of sit with their tantrums and not suppress their feelings. And don't tell them off at that exactly. point. Exactly, and I think that's really important because as you grow up, we're encouraging, you know, don't suppress your feelings, talk mm. about if you've got a problem or if you feel a certain way, and that's exactly... So do, do they at that point say, well... She's just expressing herself. Just wait for it to ride out. Because sometimes with a massive tantrum, it's not uh, tr telling off and saying stop it. It never works. Oh, so. she she does not, you know, bat an eyelid if I if yeah. I tell her off. And I've tried all the different discipline techniques, which I'm not very good at. You'll see on the show. <laughs> but I am. Um, are you having fun? <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, how, how this expert explained it is, imagine, you know, Ruth, you come in, hard day, hard day at work, and Eamon, you're there to support her and you offload, and um, that's how your, your toddler is. That's how, what I am to Sunday. I'm, I'm there to be her support. So instead of ignoring and being like, oh, God, I don't want to deal with this tantrum now, it's sitting with them feelings and supporting her through it. But do you feel sometimes that that's hot? You do, do you wish there was someone you could offload 
to... I mean, you've got your lovely yeah. mum who's with you today and oh, your friends. Of course. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a true romantic. Yeah. I'd, love to, I'd, I'd love to find love. But, yeah, I've got plenty of support with my mum, Jill, who's here, and all my friends. And I think the last time we spoke to you, which was down the line during lockdown, you did have a partner at the time, which is sadly yes. didn't work out. Well, so how are you feeling about love, romance, or are you just thinking, do you know what, I do it on my own? Oh, guys, I'm terrible when it comes to a breakup. It's all consuming for me. She's playing with my mic pack now. I hope we're good. <laughs> um, I hope you can still hear me. So, um, yeah, it, it really affected me, this breakup, and I was in the midst of filming mm. this series. And uh, there was and nowhere to do we see hide. that, then, in the series? Sorry, well, is she I... unplugging your microphone? Is she, unplug is she unplugged do? my mic? No, we're good. Um, <laughs> you do, because I, I, had to, I had to wake up and film, and I felt like I had to still carry on. So I was very honest about my breakup. And episode three, I'm so... I think, you know, I, whenever I've gone for a breakup, I'm always searching for things online. How am I going to heal my, my broken heart? So I think anyone that's going for a breakup that's going to watch this series of First Time Mum will just... It will resonate and re they'll be able to relate so do, much. Do you think Summer picks up on any of that when you're upset? Do you, um, hide, do you hide it from her? Or? Well, I think they're very intu intuitive children and she, she absolutely... Um, they pick up on your mood and your energy, but that's the thing, you know, when you're suffering or if you're poorly or if you're going for a breakup, what... I'm going to get you a snack. I'm going to get you a snack. You know, hey, come you on, have Uncle Liam and Gate bring you it for a snack. What? You can't. You're not allowed. Oh, I'm not allowed. You're right. Good but, job you're here, yeah. darling. Who's, yes. that, who's that lady over there? I bet she's got Nanny, a snack. look. look Nanny. Nanny. We'll go Nanny's awesome. Snack. She's a great yeah. cook, And Nanny. she's off. There she and is. She's Nanny, I'll have a snack. Off. Thank That's goodness for Nanny. That's the beauty of grandparents. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a jam-packed series, yeah. to say the least, um, from breakups to... You know, the tantrums, a bit of sustainability in there, exploring that. It's Isn't all going, going to on. school? That would be the and next step. Yes. School. Sunday starting school, so it's massive milestones as well, which I'm, like, kind of freaking out, but I'm really excited. She, so she starts in September. Yeah. And, and have you thought about how far with this filming you'll go with her? Like, she's going to school. Do, do you see yeah. this just going on and on? Or I am, I'm very much like a live in the moment kind of girl yeah. and I take each day as it comes because I know that you know tomorrow everything can change like that so at the moment I'm enjoying it I want to celebrate that it's series seven even saying that out loud sounds <laughs> ridiculous and, and very overwhelming so yeah right now we're here to stay and um, every age Sunday gets you know, brings a yeah. new chapter and we can well, film it, I guess. Let's show another clip happening. from the, uh, the programme just to, to let everybody see when you, you put all that together, this is what you get. There's what Ruth was talking about. It's important to have a mate, a friend, somebody to talk to and offload yeah. yes. as well. Yes, that's my friend Billy who is amazing at, at giving advice, but we've known each other since we were... 11 or 12, so that's why she was joking about me having mouldy bowls of cereal under my bed. So she's, like, exposing all of my secrets. And obviously she's in the public eye, so the perfect friend to offload yeah. and, yeah, who can relate to my situation. Fern McCann, first time mum tonight, 9 o'clock, ITVB. So uh, that, that's Fern and Sunday, which is Sunday's on Tuesday. Sunday's gone with Nanny to get something to eat <laughs> yeah. now. Which girl after Thank my own guys. heart. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to see you. So good to see you guys. Lovely to see you. Just let her do what she wants. It's like chill. No, because you're, no, no, no. You see, this is you. You give all this advice, <laughs> and you've been, the, you were you're so stressed out at everything. No, and I'm then... saying if I can speak um, that I know that I know that feeling exactly. Mm. I could tell you're like, oh no, she's yes, playing up, and you're the trying child to get them to sit down. Feels the I think, anxiety that let. comes from the parent as well. It's that's called why, parenting. That's why children love me. <laughs> they all, they all are all, all calm and collected. I've like just pie become piper. a grandfather <gasps> as well. Yeah. Congratulations. I know I'm too, I know, I know, but it's true. How exciting. Yeah, how exciting. And that's a little girl too. Oh, yeah. oh you got your work cut yeah. out. Yeah. Girls. She'll have, she'll have been wrapped around her little finger mm. in no time. Oh, yeah. Like my daughter, for instance, she yeah. adores me. She does. She just idolises me. She does. Me. And, but then so do all my sons as well. They do. Yeah. Everyone loves it. It's only my wife I have a problem with. It's only me that doesn't.
that's the only difference. <laughs> but anyway, there's lots of things that come up there in terms of parenting that everybody can uh, benefit from. Thank you very much, Thank Steve. Thanks, Love, lovely talking to you.